Once upon a time, a long time ago, a princess named Coconut Cupcake was taking a stroll, and she came upon a troll. Ooh. The troll guarded a bridge, a troll who let no one pass without paying the toll. Princess Coconut Cupcake ordered the troll who takes the toll to lower the bridge so she might cross. But you must pay the toll, insisted the troll who takes the toll. Ha! Huh, says you, I am Princess Coconut Cupcake, and you must do as I say, said Princess Coconut Cupcake in an ever so high and mighty manner. That was not really good manners at all. <laughs> Heel? 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 Help! <laughs> oh, so much for heel. Heel refused to pay the toll to the troll. She said, I will find my own way. Uh, well, and what I do you say? I thought it sounded like story time. I'm sorry to interrupt. It's actually a good place to stop. <laughs> We're just at the end of the chapter. We'll find out what the littlest barrican told the princess next time. Yay! Bye-bye! Bye, 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 kids! Wow, they really love that story. Every time I read it to them, it's like they're first. You know, Plum has been asking for ideas for a play to direct. And I'm wondering if she could do a berry fairy tale as a play. You know, put on a show for the kids. That's a great idea! I'll loan her my big book of Berry Can Berry Fairy Tales. Huh? This is great! What a super idea! You don't know how long I've been trying to decide which play to do. And how special to do something for the Berry Can Kids. It'll be like a cozy little story time on stage. Perfect! Thanks, girls! <laughs> 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 nice one, Plum! Thank you, Orange! <laughs> oh. Well, hello there, Plum! Uh -huh. <gasps> oh, Cherry, I'm so sorry! Oh, no! I kind of squashed your very big Glitz and Glamour magazine! I'm really... Snowberry and the Seven Berrykins. Colossal Smash Stage Play at Berry Big City Theater. Oh, yeah. It's huge. Biggest thing to hit Berry Big Broadway in years. It's packing in the audiences. Snowberry and the Seven Berrykins? That's a big production. Wow. You know, I could do something sensational with that play. I would direct it. Bigger. Better. I could make it a bigger hit than it is in Berry Big City. I thought you were just putting something together for the Berry King kids. You know, a cozy little story time on stage. Huh? Oh, sure, sure. But this, this, this will be bigger and better. And when the final curtain falls and the applause of the audience is ringing in the rafters, no one will say that Plum can't direct a smash hit. I don't think anyone's saying that. And they won't. I'll direct a play that will make Berry Bitty City the talk of the theater world. <laughs> mirror, mirror, at my command. Mirror, Tell mirror, me my Barry command. Ferris. Tell me who is land. Barry Ferris in all the land. I've been to a lot of auditions in my time, and I've never had to wait this long. How long have we been here? Oh, since before lunch. Hmm. Hmm. Um, <sighs> okay, that's it. I'm gonna find out what's going on. Why are you dressed like that? We thought we might have a better chance if we all dressed for the part. I'm guessing you're all trying out for Snowberry? Well, uh, yeah, of course. I mean, well, yes. And may the best gown, I mean, girl, win. Mm -hmm. Inspired, Berry Kinvani. 
simply inspired. Now, you are a tree in a forest. What kind of tree? You know, am I a maple, an oak, spruce, birch fir, mulberry, hemlock, chestnut, pecan, silver fir, walnut, white fir, aspen, jeffrey pine, lodgepole pine, uh, loblolly pine? Give me a moment. Okay, here it is. You are a redwood. So, as a redwood, how would you, from deep within your redwood heart, from the very depths of your redwood soul, sing this note? Ah! Hmm. A good start, but I'm not believing it yet. Plum? Oh, hi, Strawberry. Um, I believe there are others in line ahead of you. Plum? Yes? It's dark outside, and there are a lot of folks waiting. Do you think we might move the rest of the auditions to the morning? Oh. <laughs> Goodness. Time just flies when I'm in my zone. A good idea, Strawberry. But I've got a big show to cast, so we better start early. People! People! All right, that's a wrap for tonight. Auditions continue first thing in the morning. How's this, huh? La! It should be somewhat sweeter. Sweeter? Oh, well, how did Plum say she wanted it for the play? Huh? There they are, our stars. Hey, congrats! Congratulations! Uh huh. Thank, <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm so excited she picked me to play Snowberry. I can't believe I actually got the role, the part. But uh, I'm a little kind of uh, nervous. Well, Raspberry, you're going to be fabulous. <laughs> I just know it. And I'm so excited to be the Berry Mean Queen, but I'm a little nervous, too. I just hope I can do it the way Plum wants it. It is I, the Berry Mean Queen. <laughs> well, it's just supposed to be a fun show for the Berrykin kids. They'll love it no matter what. I don't know. Plum's putting a lot of pressure on us. The Berry Mean Queen is who I am. It is I who am the Berry Mean Queen. That's me, Berry Mean Queen. I guess Plum really does want this show to be as grand as Berry Big City Theater's production. But how will she do that? We're Berry Bitty City. All we have is a bitty stage. Big! Think big! Curtain goes up in one week, people! No one should be reading their lines off their scripts anymore! Oh, oh, oh Snowberry. We're the Seven Berrykins. Plum, huh? your design crew is here. At last! You seven, take five and memorize those lines! So, let's talk about the big tidal wave effect in Act Two. Uh, I don't remember a tidal wave in Snowberry and the Seven Barricans. I don't think Berry Big City Theater had a tidal wave. Exactly! But we will! That's why our Snowberry play will be bigger and better than Berry Big City's production. Uh... I'm just wondering, why does our play have to be better... And bigger! <sighs> that, too, than very big cities. Do you want us to be the laughingstock of the theater world? A and I'm the director, so I'll be the laughingest of the stock. I could see the headlines now. Very Bitty City makes very big boo-boo. People pull plug on Plum. <laughs> Work with me, please. I said the Seven Berry Kids need to fly stage right to stage left, not left to right. Those launch platforms need to be built on the other side. Flying Berry Kids? I guess another thing only our Snowberry play will have. <gasps> Listen, I'm all for dreaming big, but I'm worried Plum is dreaming too big this time. Kind of going a little overboard. Somewhere she'll never find her way back from. Here comes Lemon now. Speaking of going overboard. <laughs> Very overboard. <laughs> I order you, Royal Huntsman, to leave Snowberry. Hi. Come try some coconut swirl I just made. What would the Queen of the Kingdom want with that? Fetch me a short stack and make it snappy, or to the dungeon you'll go. Why don't you join us, Lemon? <laughs>
Aw, uh, guys, don't call me Lemon. I gotta stay in character. Join you indeed. What do you take me for? I only dine with royalty. And in the whole kingdom, tis no one as royal than I. Which means I dine alone. Lonely at the top, huh? Forsooth, yea, and verily. Wrap those pancakes up, kind peasant. To go, I'll take them, I will. Can you not see that I, the very mean queen, am in a hurry? I'm expected at a rehearsal forthwith, or the director shall have my crown. Thank you, kind peasant. Make way. Overboard is right. Do you think she'll turn back into Lemon after the play? Or will we be stuck with Berry Mean Queen forever? <laughs> <laughs> okay, try it again. Again? We're doing it till we get it right. Mirror, mirror, at my command, tell me who is Berry Fairest in all the land? Uh, is it Princess Berrykin? Berrykin Plume? Oh, wait, uh, don't tell me. Uh, is it J.D. Bug at the post office? No, Berry Kimbloom. We're not in Berry Bitty City right now. We're in the play Snowberry and the Seven Berrykins. And all you have to do is say your lines. Do you remember your lines? Uh, oh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, the script. Um. <sighs> Give him the next line, Berry Mean Queen. Snowberry? <gasps> That's impossible! Is it? The mirror never... Oh, yes, Miss Plum, I remember now. The mirror never sighs. <sighs> lies. The mirror never lies. Oh, that's it. The mirror never lies. Yes, you got it. <sighs> Let's do it again from the top. Mirror, mirror at my command. Tell me who is Barry Fairest in all the land. Snowberry. Snowberry? <gasps> That's impossible! The mirror never cries. Oh. Oh, deary me! Goodness gracious! I am lost in the woods. The terrible, wearable woods. Alone and frightened. It is a dark night. I am so very, very scared of the fearsome animals and wild creatures. Come on, girl. You can do it. It's your big scene. Huh? Oh, fearsome creatures. Oh, wild animals. Are you there? Somewhere? can't see you any wild animals at the moment, but I sure know they're here because I can just feel they are near. I can kind of, you know, sense them. Oh, I must hide from the wild animals. Gasp! Why, here is one now! Hmm. <laughs> An opossum? I mean, a wolf? I mean, what are you supposed to be? Cut! Be? Raspberry, it's a ferocious tiger! Oh, right! Well, I forgot. Without the tiger costume, I guess, you know, I couldn't tell. And the line before that, that's not in a script. Well, it just didn't feel real to my character to say there were wild animals when there wasn't. Uh. I couldn't see them. I understand. Ta -da! Huh? We finished painting the cottage backdrop, you wanted, Plum? Great. Let's see it. What am I looking at? The, the Seven, seven Barricans Cottage. Well, it looks like two different buildings stuck together. Well, I was thinking they would live in this kind of house. And I really feel this is the sort of home that I, 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 I mean, <laughs> they would prefer. So we, uh, split, split the, the difference. difference. Oh. Plum, may I please speak with you about my lines in the scene with the Berry Mean Queen? I don't 
think they are genuine or, you know, organic or, I mean, really true to my character. <gasps> huh? <laughs> this is not how a cast behaves! I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure it's a good idea to sit right there. Ah, uh, yes. So pleased to make your acquaintance. I am the very mean queen. Very fairest in all the land. What? What's that you say? I am not the very fairest in all the land? Who? Whom do you speak of? Snowberry? <gasps> Curses! Who goes there? Who dares? Um, it's Strawberry and Cherry. We were wondering if you're coming to book club. No, I'm nervous. Raspberry didn't have time to sew all the costumes because she was too busy learning her lines. The tidal wave isn't big enough. The puppies don't look scary enough. Hmm? Oh, Bitterberries. They're ready. Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a queen with a magic mirror. Mirror, mirror, at my command. Tell me who is Berry Fairest in all the land. Great effects, Plum. My queen, you are the berry of uh, uh, oh. uh, yeah, the berry fairest in all the land. Ah, the mirror never lies. And all was well for the queen. Until one day. Mirror, mirror, at my command. Tell me, who is berry fairest in all the land? Well, the, the gist of it is, there's this new kid named Snowberry who is looking pretty fair these days. What? Well, uh, did you really expect to be very fairest of the land forever? So, are you saying the Snowberry is fairer than I? Um, yes. That's impossible! Uh, the, the mirror never... Lies. <sighs> oh. uh. mm. uh. The very idea. Show me this, Snowberry. Well, okay, if you insist. Ugh. Remove her, please. No, I mean, I need her removed from the planet. Well, I'm just a mirror. Don't you need something like some uh, evil huntsman or, or something for a job like that? Huntsmen and poison apples couldn't do the job, so I'll have to do it myself. Oh, my! Oh, dear! I am done for! No, you're not, Snowberry! It just got a little bit big. 
and a little less fun. It got a lot big and a no fun. A little play for the baby berrykins was a fun idea, but I kind of went overboard. <laughs> I bet everyone is mad at me. Oh, they aren't mad at you. They're all on stage, waiting for their next directions. Really? Maybe you could do a different play, something on a smaller scale, so you could have fun directing it. You think they'd give me a second chance? Everyone loves you, Plum. Of course. Are you on it, everyone? I have an announcement. If you're willing to help me with another play, I promise we'll do something simple and fun. Something the little berry kins will love. <laughs> oh, well, I, uh, I found a story that sounds like fun. And when can we start? How about tomorrow morning? Good morning, Postmaster. Oh, getting ready for your vacation, I see. Oh, feel the chill in that breeze. Yeah, not much summer left. We're trying to get going before it's over. Oh, I nearly forgot. Do you have anything for me today? Well, 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 well. <laughs> what have we here? Hmm. Now, that's either six dozen dried kidney beans or... The maracas I ordered last week! Thank you, Postmaster. These are for our trip. When we get to Berry Breezy Bay Resort, they're gonna know we arrived. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> well, have a wonderful trip, Ms. Pudding. Hi, Postmaster Bumblebee. Now, uh, what could it be that I'm forgetting? <laughs> could it be... This? <laughs> Delivery from Happy Pappy Snap Apple Farm. Perfect! <laughs> Thank you. Now I can finish my snappy apple apple snacks. Would you like some? Oh, they're very good. Nope, can't. I'm on that new buttercup diet. <laughs> well, happy vacation. Oh, I'm so excited. It's like I'm there. <laughs> We're not there yet. We will be tomorrow. It's all I can think about. All I want to do is dance and dance. I can't wait to move into our perfect peach pink palace. <gasps> what do you think? I love it! And I'll be surfing those perfect azure wings. And me? I'm gonna be sunbathing under their perfect rows of coconut palms. And I am just gonna wanna sing! <laughs> Tropical paradise with blue skies. It's better than a dream to dance by the sea, watching the waves all rolling by. Come on, girls, let's have some fun. Let's dance all day under the sun. Because we're sunshine girls. Tap your feet to the beat now. Sunshine girls. And jump up, move to the groove. Sway to the left. Lotion check, swimsuits check, beach towels check, second set of beach towels for when the first set's wet check. Uh oh, wow, Orange, are you ever organized? Huh? Oh, <laughs> yeah, just the vacation checklist that I made. Whoa, look at you! I've hardly started packing, and already I've forgotten more than I can remember. Well, like I always say, you can never be too organized. I mean, what if we got all the way to Berry Breezy Bay Resort and forget something really important? 
Good point. Um, you wouldn't happen to have a copy of your checklist that I could borrow, would you? Just so happens that the first item on my list was to make copies of the list for everybody. That's so She's exciting. very nice. Here you go. Orange's official list of everything we need to bring. I even made a list of all the lists I made. Organization. That's the key to a happy vacation. Well, we better get busy. We've got a big day tomorrow. See you later. Better hurry. Everybody ready to go? Everybody check and double check their lists? Yep. There's nothing to do now but wait for the butterfly bus. According to the schedule, it should be here. Punctuality. That's the key to a happy vacation. Uh, I think I'll practice napping on the beach. I think I'll practice my nifty new surf move. It's called... <sighs> the snooze. <laughs> <laughs> I hear something coming! <laughs> no, just the breeze. Is that it? Oh, guess not. Hey, look! Huh? Who said no? Somebody's coming! There you are. No, I'm so very sorry. This letter was delayed by bad weather. It just arrived. Oh, it's from the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel. We are happy that you will be visiting us <laughs> next year. What is it? Years are? from now. We regret to inform you the resort has been closed early due to very, very breezy weather. It must be a joke. But look, there's more. This is no joke. Sorry. I really had my heart set on Berry Breezy Bay. I could almost feel that peach pink sand between my toes. <sighs> oh, oh, maybe we could go to the mountains instead. Except it's kind of breezier there. There must be other resorts. Yes. I'll start researching them. Oh, great idea. I bet we can find something just like Berry Breezy Bay. Um, I'm afraid that won't work. Summer is just about over. There's no time to plan a whole new trip. You. Trip. Yeah. <sighs> there aren't going to be any sand castles in the peach pink sand. No surfing those perfect azure waves. And no sunbathing under the perfect rows of coconut palms. But why not? Why not? Because the whole island is closed. Who says we have to go to the island? What are we gonna do? Bring the island here? Yep. Yeah, right. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> <laughs> if we can't go to the island, why don't we bring the island here? Do you know what she's talking about? Mm hmm More or less. Mostly less. Here, let me show you. I'll build us a perfect copy of Very Breezy Bay Resort. With a beach and palms and sand castles. But where? Right here, on the shore of Very Bitty Lake. It'll be like we're really there. But it'll be our own place, a place where everyone in Very Bitty City can vacation. Someday, we could even have guests. Just like a real resort. I don't know, Orange. Do you think it's a bit ambitious? <clears throat> yeah, it's maybe just a little itsy bitsy bit impractical, if not undoable. Sure, it's ambitious, impractical, undoable, and downright impossible. That's why I'm the one to make it happen. Just gonna take some good old fashioned hard work. Or sun, shine, cross. Do you really think she can pull this off? It's going to be a whole lot of work. Maybe she's bitten off more than she can chew. 
I sure don't want her to be disappointed. Maybe she really can make it happen if we help her. What do you say, girls? We yeah, can let's have do it together. Come on, guys. Let's get going. Can we help you, Orange? Well, let's see. Oh, why, yes. Yes, you can. Lemon, you help Eric and Bloom with palms. Blueberry, we need chairs over there. Plum, strawberry, we need a tropical menu. Raspberry, you work with Barrick and Bill on the sand. Cherry, you start learning. Eve, come! Eve, come! One down, 2,000 loads to go. Hmm, this is more red than peach pink. Berry Breezy Bay is famous for its peach pink sand. See? What if we try adding some pink grapefruit juice to it? That might make it pinker. Good thinking, Strawberry. You and Lemon can... <gasps> oh, no. Uh, no, 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 Cherry! The chairs go over here. Not too bad, I think, if I do say so myself. Not bad, but not perfect. It has to look exactly like the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel. They are famous for their exact replica sandcastle. Here, like this. But how do I... I mean, how can I... It's no big deal. All you have to do is tear this down and start all over. That's perfect! Just the right size for transplanting our Berry Bitty Coconut Palms. Um, where are our Berry Bitty Coconut Palms? Coming right up! I don't know how bitty they are, though. My very bitty plant food is having a bit of trouble trying to bitty ice these big boys. How much trouble? Uh, let's just say they're smaller than big, but bigger than bitty. Uh, but which could be good, depending. Depending on what? On how much shade you want. Let's bring one of them out! The smallest one, please! <laughs> Too much shade. I agree. Just another day or so, and I'll be able to grow them to very bitty size. All right, send it back to the nursery. <laughs> oh no! Let's see. What's next? Hey, Orange. You want to have a look at this? Sure, Raspberry. Um, where is it? It, um, <laughs> uh, hmm, I, I could have sworn, but I, huh. Maybe we should try some lemonade. Well, that's very pretty. Oh, but it sure is starting to smell awful. Oh, no, 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 that's not it. It has to be exactly like the sand at Berry Breezy Bay. Well, we won't be able to call this Berry Breezy Bay Resort. Okay, team, let's try the wind machine. No, no, I can barely feel that. I want it to be a very big breeze. Try it again. Put a little more oomph into it. <laughs> tried your very best. But it was a very big project. Hmm? What were you saying? The resort? All that work? Blown away? Remember? I figured out the problem. My first sketch was just plain wrong. I downloaded the plans for Berry Breezy Bay from the internet. Now I can make it exactly like the real thing. 
Of course, we're going to have to work really, really hard to build this. Teamwork, that's the key. Meet me in five minutes and I'll hand out your new assignments. She can't be serious. We can't build something like that. There's no way. She's just setting herself up for another disappointment. <sighs> I'll go talk with her. 19 and 20. Orange? Hi, Strawberry. Glad you came. You can help me start digging the foundation for the hotel. Cherry can help mix cement. Plum can put in the plumbing. Raspberry's got the window shades and wallpaper. Lemon can lay the floor. I'll do the roof. And Blueberry can... Blueberry can... Hey, where are Cherry and Plum and Raspberry and Lemon and Blueberry? We're on a tight schedule. They're, uh, not coming. Why not? <gasps> What's wrong? Well, I think maybe you have the wrong blueprints. I do? <gasps> oh, no! <sighs> oh, for a minute there I thought I'd made a mistake or something. Nope. These are the plans, all right. The plans they used to build the real resort. See? Every detail is exactly, precisely the same as on Berry Breezy Island. The beach, the hotel, the chairs, the palms. But what about these? Oh, <laughs> those aren't any good. Oh, I, I think they are. Oh, come on. Just look. The details are all off. See that beach? Way too small. And the chairs, they're in the wrong place. And don't you think this is the most important detail? Huh? What detail? This, right here. That's us having fun, having a great vacation together. Isn't that what matters most? Well, but wouldn't it be more fun with a big pink beach like this? And real palm trees like these? And... I think what makes it fun is us being together, having fun. Yeah. Come to think of it, I haven't been much fun. I guess I've been kind of bossy. We don't want to give up on helping you with your dream, but... You know, maybe we don't need a big pink beach. Maybe we don't need palm trees. What if we build a tropical paradise that's just right for us? <laughs> that sounds like a very good idea, Orange. And what if I try to have more fun building it? <laughs> All right! <laughs> hmm? Hmm. And Raspberry, build any kind of sandcastle you want. Just have fun doing it. <laughs> oh, I have so many this is ideas! Be great. Come on, let's get going! exact shade of pink. Maybe the coconuts aren't in perfect rows, but mmm, they taste great in these pies. Who needs the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel when we have beach bungalows just right for us? Maybe it isn't exactly like that other place, but this is better because we built it together. Orange, will you do the honors? I'd be happy to. My friends, tomorrow Vacation begins! Welcome to our very own Berry Pity Resort! <laughs> Beyond the berry breeze, an island waits for me. Tropical paradise with blue skies. It's better than a dream to dance by the sea, watching the waves all rolling.
chill out in style. There's so much to explore down on the ocean floor. Dive in and swim around for a while. Come on, girls, let's have some fun. Let's dance all day under the sun. Because we're sunshine girls. Tap your feet to the beat now. Sunshine girls. Jump up, move to the groove. Yeah. Sway to the left. Don't you think? It's paradise, Orange. <laughs> Our very own tropical paradise. Because we're together, being with friends. That's the key. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, everybody. Surf's up. Where's the tackled batter basics and basics of very flawless baking, I am certain you are prepared for today's class, creative cupcaking. <laughs> are you ready to cupcake? Yeah! Let's do it! It's on! I've got our ingredients, flour, sugar, baking powder, all this fresh strawberry jam. So let the baking begin! Very creative. Orange is putting mint leaves and chocolate chips in her batter for a mint chip cupcake creation. I'm putting real bits of strawberry in my cupcake to make it extra moist and tasty. How about you, Lemon? I'm replacing some of the oil in mine with applesauce. Adds flavor. Mmm, <laughs> an apple fragrance. Mmm. <sighs> Blueberry, how are you being cupcake creative today? I'm adding ground zucchini. <laughs> Well, I read about it in a cupcaking blog. It's good. It'll taste like nuts and cinnamon. I promise. Hey, what's that? I wonder what's going on. I don't know. Hey, look! What is it? I have no idea. It's just a little something I call the Sparkle Straw Water Pine Berry. Wow! I was tinkering with some pollen, you see, and selecting seeds, and oh, I don't want to bore you. Anyway, would you like a taste? Yes! Yes! Goodness. Well, all right then. Everyone step up. Here you go. Here's a glass. And one for you. Uh, pass this one down, won't you? Uh, carry on. Yes, there's another. Enjoy. Mmm. It's delicious. It tastes like kind of a, I don't know, maybe watermelon, grape, no, oh, strawberry, and yes, pineapple. I've never tasted anything like it. Oh, and it's a scent sensation. I've got to fashion a fragrance after it for my salon. Oh, Princess Berry Kid, uh, please try some. Ahem. <clears throat> this Sparkle Straw Water Pine Berry is the finest achievement in berry culture I have ever witnessed. To mark this occasion, I hereby declare tomorrow Berrican Bloom Day with a ceremony in his honor. Yeah! Oh, my. Oh, why, thank you. It's really hardly necessary. It's the least we can do, Berrican Bloom, after all you do for us. When plants get sick, you always figure out a way to make them better. And where would we be without your berry-bitty veggies? It's all part of my job. 
Oh, well, it's a lovely gesture, I suppose. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I must tend to my Betty Orchard. Oh, he's so humble. Which means it'll be all the more fun to surprise him with something really nice on his special day. Ooh, what a great idea! What can we do that would be very special? Well, I'll ask Plum to help me decorate the gazebo. And I'll bet Sherry could handle the music. Wow, Raspberry, that's a great idea. Perfect, Raspberry. I love it. But what about the rest of us? We need to do something really special. I know. Let's each make him a cupcake. We can make them with the delicious flavors from all the fruits he grows. Oh, that'll be fun. That's perfect. Great idea, Strawberry. Let's get back to baking. Barrack and Bloom supplies all the Berry Bitty produce for my store, so I want to make him the most special cupcake ever. Now, how to make this cupcake special for Barrack and Bloom? Oh, I know! I'll fill the cupcake with a tablespoon of delicious strawberry jam. Oh, no! My jam! Where'd it go? Cupcake? Oh, those were all the jars I had. Oh, you're gonna have a tummy ache for sure. And I'm gonna have to restock all the jam in my cafe. <laughs> Hello? Orange! Just a minute! <coughs> oh, Orange? Are you all right back there? I'm fine! Uh, just making my cupcake. Oh, okay. I need some strawberry jam. Help yourself! Thank you! Anytime, Strawberry, and... Oh, my. I was gonna put some in my cupcake, but I was completely out. Back to the kitchen I go. Um, um. It's me, Marmalade. Um. Oh, bless you. Hmm, with all that jam, Strawberry must be making an enormous cupcake. Well, I can match that. Hi, Orange. Do you mind if I borrow some... sprinkles? Sure. Help yourself. I've got to get back to my cupcake. Come on. Are you okay? <coughs> I, I'm fine. <coughs> All that flour for one cupcake? Oh. I've got some major rethinking to do. Blueberry? Oh, oh hi, Strawberry. What's new? Um, not much, I guess. Except you're dragging around a giant banana. It's for my cupcake. Your cupcake? Why don't you just use a bitty banana? I mean, you can't fit all that banana into a little cupcake. Who said anything about a little cupcake? You mean, exactly how big is your cupcake going to be? I don't know, but Orange is making a huge one. She's using bags and bags of flour. Oh, you must have just misunderstood. Look at my cupcake. It's normal sized. I'm sure she's baking one just like it. After all, how much cupcake can Barrack and Bloom eat? Hi, guys. How about the cupcake I made for Barrack and Bloom? Bouncing boysenberries, Orange. That's very gigantic. I know. <laughs> Isn't it great? Great? That's the hugest cupcake I've ever seen. Well, don't you think Barrack and Bloom deserves the most special cupcakes we can bake? Did someone mention my name? It's Barrack and Bloom! Ah, there you are, Miss Strawberry. Oh, <laughs> yep, here we are, doing uh, nothing secret at all. That's right. Uh, not at all. We <laughs> have nothing to hide. Did you ladies need me for something? I thought I heard my name. Nope, not me. Uh, not at all. Nuh-uh. Uh, you must have been someone else. Have a lovely day. Well, then, I suppose I'll be on my way, too. That 
is a very fine banana you have there, young lady. A very fine banana indeed. Uh, yes! <laughs> Just, uh, taking it out for some exercise. Come along, Waldo. Time to finish your walk. I never thought of exercising the produce. Or naming it. Hmm. I suppose Waldo is a lovely name for a banana. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> so long. See you around. Yeah. <sighs> that was too close. He almost found out our surprise. We've got to keep him away. How are we going to do that? I don't know. Keep him busy, I guess. But we're all too busy to keep him busy. We are, but I know someone who isn't. Wait, you want me to what? Just keep Barrack and Bloom busy. We can't let him see us making cupcakes. It'll spoil the surprise. We need a diversion. A diversion? That's a fancy way of saying distraction or keeping him busy. But how am I supposed to do that? I don't know. Think of something. You're both guys. Why don't you do guy things? Guy things? I don't know. Like what? You're the guy. Figure it out. Hello there. <gasps> Here he comes now. A very fine day to you, young ladies. Why, Mr. Huckleberry, what brings you to town? Uh, guy things. Like, uh, running <laughs> and shouting. Ah! <laughs> what in the world? Oh, my stars. What an unexpected development. Well, that seemed kind of extreme. I hope Eric and Bloom will be OK. Sure he will. He's a guy. They like that stuff. What matters is that he's not around to see our cupcakes. About those cupcakes. Yes, about those cupcakes, Orange. That one you made was huge. That's right, and it wasn't that big. And I'm not gonna make Barrack and Bloom just any old cupcake. He deserves something special. Yes, but what's important is... What's important is that if you make a huge cupcake, ours will seem kind of bitty in comparison. Good point. But really... All I know is that I'm not skimping on mine. <sighs> well, it's up to you what kind of cupcake you want to make. But just remember... Uh, there are a lot of things that make a cupcake great. Don't well, I... then, I'm going to have to redo mine. Maybe I can you team up with them. Or well, if Blueberry's Nor making a bigger the cupcake, cake too, then mine will be bigger, some... too. And the presentation. Oh, no. I have a feeling this is going to be the very biggest, very baddest bake-off ever. There. My friends might be baking colossal cupcakes, but I'm sure Barrack and Bloom will be more than happy with this one. Won't he? Oh, maybe Orange is right, Pupcake. Barrack and Bloom is special, so he deserves a really special cupcake. But how can I make a more special cupcake without getting carried away? Oh. <laughs> you may not have all the answers, but you sure are cute. <laughs> hey! That's it! I'll make a Pupcake Cupcake. <laughs> It'll be the cutest cupcake you've ever seen. Stay right there. Okay, now stay still. Oh, you're right, Pupcake. It's not what I had hoped for. But you didn't really help by moving around so much. <laughs> oh, now what am I going to do? Of course! Oh, Custard, please come back. It'll be fun! There! Now that's the perfect cupcake. Just one last touch. Whoa! What do you think? I had to change my recipe to make it this big. But isn't it the most special cupcake you've ever seen? All it needs is this cherry and... Oh, I must have added too much plastic.
Blaster. Blaster? Well, I don't know how to make it delicious and bigger and stronger all at once. <gasps> hey, you guys are good with tools. Maybe you can help me. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I never baked anything before with plaster. <clears throat> I got four words for you. Frosting licking. Can me you! So, that activity is what you would refer to as zip lining? Wasn't it fun? Uh, well, I... Uh... It's just one of the many activities in the, uh, Gentlemen's Diversion Club. Yeah. Goodness, Mr. Huckleberry. This club seems quite rough and tumble. Only the roughest and tumblest for gentlemen like us. Uh, now, when was this club established? It's after me! It's very old and established. We better keep diverting. I know another diversion, which I know you'll enjoy. To the lake! Uh, yeah! Uh, the lake. What a wonderful suggestion. I can't think of a more tranquil spot to sit back and marvel at the glory of nature all around us. Yet still, I can't help but wonder why my feet are strapped to these boards. Oh, I knew he'd love water skiing. Looking good, Barry Can Bloom. <laughs> well, you were anyway. Okay, another diversion. Think. I know. Are you certain that this is enjoyable? As enjoyable as anything else I could all of a sudden think of? Have fun! <laughs> Tackle you? I'm not even sure I know how to go about that. Is this necessary for the gentleman's diver diversion club? Yes, very necessary. <laughs> oh, uh, ah, do, whoa, whoa, do, whoa. <laughs> oh dear, I, I do hope that wasn't too extreme. Are you all right? I'm fine. Cherry, just an hour to go till the big ceremony. All I need to do is put up a few more, you know, streamers, balloons, and more streamers, and then what in the very bitty world? I thought you guys were just making regular old cupcakes, but this, a giant beehive? A circus? A volcano? Well, the lava is strawberry jam, and the rocks are sugar. At least it should taste good. How could you all get so carried away? Well, I tried making a pupcake cupcake, but that didn't work. Then I tried a custard cupcake, and, well, that didn't work either. So uh, one thing led to another, and... Oh, perhaps I've lost my focus on what's important here. Ready to see the most special cupcake? Bring it in, boys! you even build it? I had a little help from Ed and Earl. Yep. <laughs> and we used only the finest spare parts and lumber, plus 50 yards of fencing wire. I, uh, <clears throat> I wouldn't taste the cake part. Oh, but the frosting's delicious. And wait till you see this. Guys? Isn't this the best 
to clean this mess up. Yeah! There we go. Good as new. So sad. <laughs> but at least I can still smell cupcakes. Cupcakes? Oh, dear. Never much cared for them. I'm more of a fruit and veggie man myself. Bear can bloom. Huckleberry, what... What happened to you? Well, it's like this. You see... We were jumping in mud puddles, and then we got kind of lost all night, and then we wandered into a brambleberry thicket, and... Oh! The ceremony's starting! You better get up there! The royal rutabaga. I am deeply honored, Princess Mary Kit. And I am honored and full of gratitude to have this day named after me and, and this park. Oh, I... I've never seen this park so clean. However, I must say, the last day has been most unusual. Most unusual indeed. I'm not certain why I was invited into the Gentleman's Diversion Club, uh, but it has been the best 24 hours of my life. <laughs> oh, come here, you. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Chairs? Check. Barbecue? Check. Oh, volleyball net. Oh, better get on that one. Thank you, Barry Kimville. Everyone has done such a great job helping us open the resort on time. <laughs> we'll make sure you and the Berrykins get to vacation here, too. How about guests? Hmm, good point. I wonder what's keeping the girls. <laughs> Never heard of anyone being late for their own vacation. <laughs> Patty Persimmon in the Case of the Beach Burglar, Part 1. Great! Now, Part 2. Hmm, let's see here, Patty. Ah, there it is. Part three. Part three. I can't just take the first two parts on vacation if I can't find out how it ends. <gasps> Aha! Part three! Maybe too much lime? Oh. 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 Thanks, Blueberry. Let me guess. Couldn't fit your fins in your bag? <laughs> you guessed it. I thought I'd take a little something to read on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Raspberry? <laughs> yeah, I just <clears throat> can't get this thing closed. Wow! <sighs> psst, psst. Oh, over here. Uh, hello? Did somebody say something? Huh? <gasps> it's me, Plum. I think one of my fins is stuck. You're wearing fins too? <laughs> my mermaid outfit. Just wanted to do some water ballet. 
I didn't have room to pack it. <laughs> How'd you know? Lucky guess. Uh, what's, um... That's raspberry. Oh, morning, raspberry. Morning, plum. <sighs> is everything gonna go wrong this morning? <laughs> I'm afraid this is not a good omen for the start of our vacation. There you are, girls. Cherry and I have been waiting at the resort. Let us help you with your, uh, pegs? <laughs> wow! Where's Lemon? Oh, she's coming. Something about a problem with her sunscreen. Oh, oh, see what I mean? What if the rest of our vacation is like today? <gasps> oh, no, no. I'm sure our vacation will be trouble-free and relaxing. I mean, <laughs> after a morning like I've had, what else could go wrong? <gasps> Oh, you lucky people. Mavis Maraschino. Aren't you lucky girls? Here I am. Poor Twinkles. Did you miss me? Thank the stars I caught you before you left. Is it luck or written in the stars? Cherry Jam, do I have a surprise for you? I am doing a new show, Lifestyles of the Very Big Bitty Stars. And guess who I am doing my first episode on? You. Who? You! How Ultra Pop Superstar Cherry Jam spends a vacation at Very Breezy Bay Resort. Oh, this is going to be fabulous publicity for you, kitten. Really give your career a boost. Um... Brrrr! Let's roll! You got it, Mavis. And we're rolling. Excuse me, but I... Hello, you lucky people. It's me, Mavis Maraschino, and this is Lifestyles of the Berry Big Bitty Stars. We all know there's no bigger Berry Big Bitty Star than Cherry Jam, who's my exclusive guest on today's show. I know you've all been asking yourselves, where does Cherry Jam vacation? How does a Cherry Jam vacation? Well, it's your lucky day because Mavis knows the answer. Cherry Jam is about to take her vacation at Super Exclusive Reclusive Elite Berry Breezy Bay Resort. But I'm not. Not what? Not spending my vacation at Berry Breezy Bay. Cut! Cut, 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 cut. Oh. Galloping galaxies. Please tell Mavis why. Berry Breezy Bay closed early. Bad weather. Treacherous troposphere! Bad weather! Oh, bad way to start a premiere show. Oh, how can I tell my audience that Cherry Jam vacations? Nowhere! Not at all! Oh, uh, well, she's going on a vacation at our very own homemade resort. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just down the... The, um... <clears throat> well, I, I actually don't know where it is. <laughs> Oh, uh, you know, I, I still haven't figured out what's wrong with this thing. <laughs> oh, fixed it. Homemade resort? Oh, sounds rather dismal. Dismal? It means not cheerful. <gasps> Our resort is very cheerful. It's the very best resort ever. Come on, we'll show you. Uh, Pom, maybe we better... Bertram? With some fancy editing and a very distracting musical theme, we just might pull this off. We do not shrink when faced with a production challenge. We rise to... <laughs> Bertram, stop talking to that mermaid and roll camera. And we're rolling. Hello, you lucky people. It's me, Mavis Maraschino, bringing you a lifestyles of the very big bitty stars. I know you've been waiting all summer to find out where mega pop star Cherry Jam vacations. And now, thanks to me, you're going to find out. I am standing on the beach at the exclusive, reclusive, ultra luxurious, very breezy bay resort. Um, Mavis? Here's our superstar now. 
Excuse me, Mavis. You called this the exclusive reclusive Berry Breezy Bay Resort? It's really the happy, home-built, very bitty city resort. Cut! We were in the middle of a take, dear. Well, it's just that... Uh, this isn't Berry Breezy Bay Resort. It's Berry Bitty City Resort. Ba, bear, ba, breeze, oh, berry, berry, breezy, baboon. I mean, it doesn't make a bit of difference. Don't you see, my luminous lovelies? We must do the best with what we have. My viewers demand glamour, and they shall have glamour, and glitter, and gobs of both. Now, let's get a beauty shot of me under the palms. I don't know, Jerry. <laughs> Breezy Bay may be closed due to weather, but Berry Bitty Bay is closed due to Mavis. <sighs> There's always next summer to enjoy vacation. Wait a minute, girls. Don't give up on our vacation. This is my fault. She came looking for me. I'll fix it. Just go on with our vacation and, and I'll... I'll think of something. Oh, Cherry! Where's my little superstar? Quick, under here! <laughs> Jerry, what are you doing here? Shh! Has anyone seen Cherry Jam? Uh, I have no idea. Yeah. Have you seen Cherry? <laughs> Can't imagine. Hmm. Oh, Cherry! Cherry! <sighs> Thanks, girls. Hmm, this gives me an idea. There's no reason for Mavis to shoot a pop star. If there's no pop star to shoot now, is there? <laughs> no, there isn't. Hi, Mavis! Hi, Mavis! Hi, Mavis! Hi, Mavis! Well, hello, Mavis! Oh, oh well, that is it! I can't find her! <laughs> <laughs> Great idea, Cherry. <laughs> it worked. Bertram, do we shrink from a challenge? <sighs> we rise to it. Radio, camera ready. I'm going to find that cheery cherry megastar if I have to stay here all week. Oh, it didn't work. And we're rolling. Hello, you lucky people. It's Mavis Maraschino, and this is Lifestyles of the Very Big Bitty Stars, where today the question is, where in the world is Cherry Jam? This reclusive superstar seems even more reclusive than ever, but never fear, Mavis knows she's near. <laughs> You girls can't enjoy a relaxing vacation if you're busy hiding me the whole time. Why don't I just let her do the interview, and I'm sure she'll leave. Are you sure? How bad can it be? I'm coming out of hiding. Hi, Mavis. Here I am, ready for camera. <gasps> ready for camera? Come! Cut, 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 cut. Astounding asteroids. They make you cook your own food. I mean, what kind of a resort is this Berry Breezy Bay? Um, but it's not Berry Breezy Bay. Cherry, looks like you need a lesson in superstarring. Mavis knows. Come, come, Twinkles. <gasps> Time for a sweep, Starshine. The water's fine. <laughs> huh? What? That wasn't nice, Mavis. Yeah! Ooh, I'm so sorry, dear. I'll make it up to you. I'll make you the star of my next episode. There you are, Moonglow. Now lie back, relax! <gasps> well, don't just lie there like a fallen meteor. Please, fetch Cherry a refreshing beverage. Huh? I'm sorry, Mavis. I can't do this. I can't have my friends... You're right. Only I, me that is Mavis, can show you how a glamorous vacation is vacationed. Where do I check in? Our first guest. <laughs> Isn't it, uh... Well, there are no words to describe. Ha! <sighs> Now 
Now this is how a superstar vacations. <gasps> That's her eighth lemonade. And she keeps asking for fresh towels. Well, just think. She'll give our resort a great review. And we'll probably have lots of guests next summer. That would be great. Except she keeps calling our resort by the wrong name. Girls, I think it's time that I just, well, politely ask her to leave. Ask her to leave? But, oh, Bitterberries, we've never asked anyone to leave Berry Bitty City before. It seems so unfriendly. Well, she's unfriendly. That doesn't mean we have to be. But we were supposed to be the first guests, not her. <sighs> if only we hadn't made her so comfortable. Now she'll never leave. Comfortable? <laughs> oh, did I ever get an idea. This one's gonna work for sure. And we're rolling. Mavis Maraschino here on a beautiful moonlit night at Berry Breezy Bay Resort. Psst, they're almost ready. Great. Okay, everybody, you all remember what to do? <laughs> Crab control to lizard leader. Crab control to lizard leader. The crabs are ready. Lizard leader to crab control. The lizard is ready. Operation Make Mavis Comfortable is a go. Here goes. <laughs> Cherry jam. <gasps> Run for your life! It's the attack of the pinching crabs! <laughs> <laughs> You too, Fred. <laughs> okay, Barry and Bruce, turn off the storm. Mavis, are you all right? Oh, quite a storm, wasn't it? Oh, we have them all the time. Oh, yeah, along with that four-headed lizard monster and those pinching crabs. Oh! So, you won't hurt our feelings if you want to leave. I mean, that's just too much danger for anyone. We'll understand. <laughs> this is incredible! I had no idea how exciting it is here. The thrill of going mano a Mavis with nature herself. This place has brought me alive. Oh, don't hate me, Cherry Starshine, but I'm finished with celebrity reporting. Fluff and silliness. My new show will be an extreme adventure series starring moi. I'll call it Mavis, one maraschino against nature. With all its hazards, this resort is the perfect location. I'll be stationed here permanently. Aww. a backpack lunch of fruit salad and chocolate souffle, heavy on the chocolate. Says she's going on an adventure trek through the jungle where she's going to explore new ground. Oh. Oh. Our vacation is doomed. Hmm, new ground, new ground. Uh, Strawberry, do you still have that first draft of your essay? The one you wrote to win us the vacation to Berry Breezy Bay? Yeah, but... Why? I think I'm getting an idea. Blueberry, I'll need your publishing skills. Cherry dear, don't wish me safe travels because I'm off to shoot my first show in your thrilling jungle. I'll be back in time for dinner if I survive. That sounds thrilling. Almost as thrilling as the latest issue of Beyond Berry Big Adventure magazine. Almost. Let me see that. 
special report from traveler Maxine Maximum about her adventures on the outrageously exotic, terribly thrilling, terrifically tantalizing perilous passage island? Oh, hazardous hurricanes! Nobody scoops Mavis Maraschino! Bertram! Yes, Mavis? Book us the first flight to Perilous Passage Island! Goodbye! I wanted her to go, but now I feel like I played a trick on her. We did play a trick on her. I guess we never believed it would really work. Now I feel bad. We have to tell her the truth. Um, Mavis? There's something we want to tell you. That story about Perilous Passage Island? There's no such place. Aw, oh, Twinkles, are you trying to protect Mavis from harm? Well, I am fearless. I will take whatever comes my way to get a great story. No, really. You see, we just wanted to spend our vacation... vacationing together, not working on a TV show. And I should have been up front and told you that from the start. So, the truth is, there is no Perilous Passage Island. <laughs> Perilous pith helmets, that doesn't matter to me. If there isn't an island like that, there soon will be, and Mavis Maraschino will discover it. Or someplace even more harrowing. <laughs> Farewell, Twinkles. I am off to explore uncharted lands. or roast pineapple squares over the fire. Well, we tried. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we tried. did try. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> How we tried. Building the resort, hiding me, and the baby barricans dressed as crabs. <laughs> How about Mavis's face when she saw the lizard monster? Oh, that was great. You know, we really had a great vacation after all. Not what we expected, but maybe even more fun. Yeah! yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Hmm. You know, why stop the fun now? Do we shrink from a challenge? We, we rise, rise to it. it! Couldn't we put the umbrellas together with the fabric from the lizard costumes and make a tent? Yay! We'll have our beach party after all. I'll get the pineapple squares. Hey, what do you know? The rain stopped. Quick, before it starts again. <laughs> for Cherry Jam's tour bus. Oh, let's go reach my door! Well, let's get to work. We'll have Cherry Jam on our way home before you can say goodbye. Uh, 
just Barry and Byron installing a new set of lug nuts. Very large lug nuts. Raspberry, watch out! <laughs> you lost again! <sighs> You've lost three games in a row. We've heard of being a good sport, but this is extreme. Raspberry, is there something else you might be so giggly about? Okay, okay. I'm sorry, just... Okay, so... Last night, right after the talent show, something very unbelievable, well, incredible, um, and uh, just great happened. Excuse me, Miss Raspberry Tort. Here's my car, darling. Give me a call when this hoopla dies down. I'd like to talk to you about your absolutely fabulous fashions. Card. Raspberry, that's great! <gasps> yes! Wow. Yeah. What'd she say when you called her? Uh, well, uh, I haven't called her. What? <gasps> Why not? Because I'm so scared, excited, nervous. I, because what if it's, if it's not, what if she says, who? Raspberry, the dog trainer? Oh, dress designer. Ah, yes, it's all coming back to me now. The glitter gown. Well, darling, are you sitting down? Because, congratulations, we're hiring you to make 6,000 dresses for the annual Very Big City Firefly Convention. <laughs> that you don't know that's what would happen and you won't know till you call yeah well maybe later i can wait well we can't but our our game <laughs> the game can wait she might make you a fashion star think of the fame the fortune <gasps> the fans oh uh hello yes this is Raspberry Tort, and I... You have? Really? Oh, you do? Me? Yes! Uh, well, I guess... Yes! <gasps> well, tell us! What? Oh, she... Uh, they want me to come to Berry Big City immediate... Right away, and talk about... Yes? Yes? Starting a new line of raspberry glitter. You know, glitter gowns. <laughs> oh, Cherry, you have to help me. Tell me what to wear and what do I say and how do I act and... Oh, very big city. You don't need any help from me, Raspberry. Just be yourself. Come on, we've got to get you packed. Oh, come on. Now let's... Uh, Miss Jam? Oh, hello, Barrykin Bruce. Came to give my apologies. I'm afraid your part still hasn't arrived. Part? What part? Uh, the hydraulic juicer rinser for your tour bus? Oh, oh, yeah, of course. No problem. Oh, well, thank you for being so understanding, Miss Jam. I know how anxious you must be to get back home to Berry Big City and get your tour underway. Tour? Oh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't worry. I'm in no hurry. Go, oh, don't worry. I'm in no hurry. She's so nice. I'll get to the bottom of this. Yes, hello? Very Big City Motor Parts? I'd like to speak with the manager, please. Strawberry, which one's dressy enough for Berry Big City? Uh, we should ask Cherry. She'd know. Oh, uh, that's okay. Don't want to bother her. Hmm, what's wrong? Strawberry, do you think 
Cherry doesn't want me to go? Did she say that to you? No, but she doesn't seem so excited for me. I just don't know. You're right. You don't know. And you won't know until you ask her. Yeah. Okay, <gasps> pretty pink or very merry magenta? Uh... <laughs> Both. Better to be prepared. Good luck! Oh, wow, Raspberry! Have fun! I made you some hair scents for the trip. Good luck, Raspberry. Oh, thank you, Lemon. Did you talk to Cherry? Uh, I will, yep. Good. Good luck! Have a great time, Raspberry. Oh, thanks, Cherry. I just, um, I, I wanted to ask you... Do you know which hair scent you think's best for Berry Big City? You're the fashion expert! <laughs> Goodbye, everybody! We'll see you in a few days! <laughs> Crumbs. Nice <laughs> shot, Blueberry. Plum's turn. Fumble and poison berries. I ripped my dress. <laughs> <laughs> Raspberry will sew that up in. Oh, that's right. She's not here. Ah! <laughs> it's an email from Raspberry. Listen to this. I can't believe what's happening. They're giving me my own design studio? <gasps> my own staff? <gasps> I'm coming back tomorrow to pack up the boutique. They want me to move here. <gasps> move there? <laughs> uh, well, I didn't think she'd be moving away. Well, it's probably just for a while. I know. Let's bake some treats for a surprise celebration for her. You mean a send-off? Strawberry's right. Let's not show her how much we'll miss her, just how happy we are for her. Let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, girls! I mean... <laughs> Step aside! Make way for the future fashion star of Berry Big City, the fabulous Ra -ra Raspberry! Uh -oh. She eats up the fashion scene! Oh dear, I think we got off on the wrong stop. Uh, no, uh, this is it. <laughs> My home sweet home. You mean your old home. Girls, girls, look. It's Mavis Maraschino from the Fashion Further Forward show. She's doing a segment on me and my fashions. Oh, wonderful, I can't wait to see that show. What a... Welcome to Berry Bitty City, Mavis. That's Miss Maraschino to you, dearie. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you'd remember me from that time you interviewed me. I'm Cherry Jam. <gasps> Blood Scarlet Cummerbunds. Oh, Cherry, what have they done to you? Honey, I can get you a limousine straight to Salon de Vol. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just taking a little vacation here with my friends. And... They're holding you prisoner, aren't they? Oh, did they take your clothes? My lawyer can... Miss Maraschino. Mavis, doll. Mavis, please. Mavis, I'm quite happy here, and I am choosing to be here. Oh, well, you just say the word, and my people are at your service. In fact, I've been dying to get you on my show. Now, where's my little protege? To your best hotel! Oh, excuse me, girls. Gotta go! <laughs> Bye. Um, what was that? If you find out, don't tell me. I don't think I want to know.
Pinched, pleaded Paisley. You poor dear. However did you survive in such primitive working conditions? Do yourself a favor, my cashmere kitten. Leave it all behind, especially that. But... But this is my very first sewing machine. It's always been with me. A dinosaur, my soon-to-be superstar. Let it go. Fashion forward means forward, not backwards. May this fills need for major manicure. There wouldn't be such a thing as a beauty salon in this outpost, would there? Why, yes, there would. We'll be right over for an appointment. Now, shoo, shoo, shoo. Ra, ra, raspberry is on a busy schedule. Raspberry? We're having a little party at the cafe tonight. Oh, uh, I mean... <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, I'll be there. Oh, no, 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 Miss Meringue. That's so last century. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no, dear. You're thinking too small. Raspberry is not just a designer of fashions. She's a monument to fashions. Uh, no, 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 no. She's a winter, not an autumn. I want her studio painted winterberry rose, not fall mauve. They want to speak to you, dear. Oh, uh, hello? Uh, sure. <laughs> Whatever she said. <laughs> Don't mouse your nails. From head to foot, everything about her has to... Roar. Every shape, every color must roar fashion. Uh, wait. Ooh. And what do you call this? Blackberry seed facial mask. We wanted blackberry seed and guava. I am out of guava. No guava? guava? Very big city salons are never without it. And never without the snootiest stylists. Oh, but Cherry, dear, they're the most famous, most highly sought after. Maybe that's why they never make friends with you, like Lemon does. This will never do. Don't worry, dear, Mavis is here. We'll have it all redone when you get home to Berry Big City. Strawberry. Cherry keeps saying what she doesn't like about Berry Big City. Now, you listen to Mavis. That's just what stars do. She's afraid of competition, so she's trying to convince you not to go. You mean, she's jealous of me? Uh, Raspberry, maybe you should ask Cherry? This is a bittersweet goodbye. Tears and smiles at the same time We know you gotta go and live your dream We've been together for so long You not here will feel so wrong But time goes on and we have our memories Without you, the sun won't shine as bright. Without you, things won't seem just right. We'll be so blue when you moved away. Without you, nothing will be the same. Without you, we won't feel complete. Without you, there's a missing piece. It's so
think Raspberry's going to love it. She isn't gonna hear it. Ra ra Raspberry isn't coming. Mavis said she needs her beauty sleep. She forgot us? The Raspberry I know would never accept an invitation and not show up. And I miss the Raspberry I know. Cherry, is there any reason you wouldn't be happy for Raspberry? Yes, there is. I mean, we're all going to miss her, but this is her chance to be a star. When you're a star, sometimes it's hard to be yourself. Raspberry isn't acting like herself, and the Raspberry we knew was happier. So you're not jealous of Raspberry? Oh, no! <laughs> I'm worried for her. You know, the stars shine much brighter here than in Berry Big City. Oh, not this cafe again. However did you survive with just one restaurant? Oh, I, uh, I guess Strawberry's just such an incredibly inventive cook. We just never got bored. What's going on? Excuse me. Uh, hiya, Raspberry. Hi, uh, do you know where Strawberry is? Oh, Rice. <laughs> That's where we're going. The Berry Bitty City Boat Race. I can't believe they didn't remind me. Come on, Mavis. I can't miss it. It's my very favorite event. Boats? Oh, wait, if it's boats you want, I'll sign you up at the Berry Big City Yacht Club. <laughs> Raspberry, glad you're here. Hi, Cherry. Why aren't you racing? It didn't feel right taking your boat out without you. Oh, I wasn't sure if you wanted me here. After last night's party, we weren't sure if you wanted to come. The party! Oh, oh I... Oh, no! Oh, don't worry yourself, kitten. Who wants to go to a dismal hoedown anyway? Well, I would. Oh, it's so not you, Button. Actually, it was a surprise going away party for you. Really? Jump in. Can we be a team? Sure. Hey, come on, Mavis. We can catch up. Bitter button hooks. You're not serious. Us in that? <laughs> She's my champion boat. Come on, get in. It'll be so fun. I am not getting in that bucket. This is not you. Mavis, watch out! <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> <laughs> Mavis, I think that look is you. <laughs> How could you do this to Mavis, Maraschino? I have nothing prepared for my next show. That was kind of you to lend Mavis your tour bus, Cherry. It was kind of you to throw her this going away party. Oh, it's not a going away party for Mavis. It's a staying home party for both of you. Are you sure you want to give up everything in Berry Big City? Nothing there can make me feel like a star the way my very best friends do. The way you do, Cherry. I'm sorry I thought you were jealous of me. I wasn't being kind, wasn't being me. I'm glad the real me is back. Welcome home. But I must admit, I'm not sure what a Berry Fest princess does. You've got to judge the flower show. <laughs> Don't forget the honey day. <laughs> oh, I have to judge a flower show? I'll be sure not to forget the honey. Got it. You like the game? <laughs> 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 oh, oh, and twirl the Berry Fest princess baton. Really? I have.
have to twirl the Berry Fest Princess baton? I'd better practice. Plum the buffet. Right, the buffet. Apple the cobbler. The cobbler? And ask the black... Uh, Blurkles. Get all the wings. The dinner. Oh, oh, the buffet. The buffet. Uh, before, oh, after. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry, but I still don't know what my duties are. It's quite simple, actually. Princess Berry King's mini book of Berry Fest Princess Duty says the princess shall preside over the festivities of Berry Fest. Especially the parade must be the very best. What does that mean exactly? It means you're responsible for getting everything ready. A wing, please. This is a great honor, but I'm not sure I know how to put on a parade. Oh, of course. How silly of me. Here's the things to do list. Thank you. This doesn't look so bad. <gasps> oh, galloping grape leaves. This is a lot to do, Custard. Oh, how am I going to get it all done? Hmm, what would a leader do? I know. No, she would give tasks to the members of her team. But who's my team? <laughs> my friends, of course. And you know, Custer, they've already said they want to help me. Now, all I have to do is assign some of these tasks. Hello, Blueberry. Hi, Lemon. Oh, Plum, my friend. Would you be able to help me with the parade, please, Orange? Raspberry, could you please help me with something? We'd love to! No, oh, I knew they'd help me. See you later, Custard! <laughs> I'm on my way to plan the buffet, but I thought I'd stop by to see how the garland is. Huh? What are you doing? I'm sorting these nut pieces for the squirrels. The real nuts got mixed in with the metal nuts. I want everything in my store organized so I can focus on making the garland like you asked. Maybe sorting nuts should wait till after the parade. I'd be happy to help you then. When the box said mixed nuts, <laughs> they weren't kidding. And just when I have so much work on my hands... You know, that garland is very important to the parade. <gasps> oh, no! Look at the time! Uh, I'm late to pick up the petals for my garlands. Um, Strawberry, could you watch my store for just a few minutes? Uh, sure, Orange. Go ahead. Oh, and if you're bored, feel free to sort the nuts. She just ran off on an errand. Say, am I glad to see you, Plum. Have you finished the Berry Can Dance for after the parade? Not yet, but I've decided that Orange and I should perform the Berry Bitty Bunny Hop during the parade. But the Berry Kins have to... Since Orange isn't here, I need you to try out some steps with me. <laughs> I'd love to help, Plum, <laughs> but I'm actually in the middle of a sorting project for Orange. Oh, that's okay. You can keep sorting while you hop. Come on, Strawberry! <laughs> now left, right, left, two, three, four. <laughs> Do I want to know? Come on in, Blueberry. We're trying out my parade dance. What do you think? Well, it certainly looks happy. Speaking of parade, how is the parade route coming along? It isn't. I looked everywhere for my Berrymatic 3000 writing pen with low flow ink. Then I remembered somebody borrowed it. Oops. <laughs> That's right. I think I left it in my bedroom somewhere. I'm sure that Plum is sorry, Blueberry. Well, I had to make do with a common, ordinary, everyday pencil. So this just isn't as nice as I'd like it to be. I'd like you to look over the map route and see if it looks too long. Uh, I'm a 
bit busy right now helping Orange and Plum. Uh, 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 could you please come by the cafe in an hour and I'll look at it then? It'll only take a second or a minute, depending on your speed reading ability. Uh, all right. finish these wonderful wings for the butterfly float. Oh, at last, someone is helping me. Thank you. Hi, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Oh, <laughs> hi, Lemon. Say, Lemon, could I please hear the music you picked for the parade? That's what I came to talk to you about. Wow, is that the butterfly wing I'll be standing next to? Sure is. You want to hold it? Of course. Um... <laughs> See? A perfect match. <laughs> <laughs> that looks great, girls. But could we please focus on our parade tasks? Say, do you know what'll really make this wing spectacular? Rhinestones! I've got a rhinestone fastener at home. I'll just add some sparkles to this, and it'll be much more springtime paradier. Oh, but wait, the wings are supposed to look exactly the same. I'm sorry Lemon decided to change your design. Oh, no, no, no. She's so right. They should be sparklier. Hey, you know, I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter glue to my wing, too. <laughs> or maybe a lot. Yes, sparkles would be nice. But don't we have more important things to do right now, Raspberry? Like for the parade? <laughs> oh, no, but making the wings more sparkly. Sparkly is helping the parade. <laughs> right. Then maybe you and Lemon could decorate the wings together. You know, help each other. Speed things up. <laughs> well, since you're here, you could help me. <laughs> you know, speed things up. I apologize, Raspberry, but I just can't right now. I have a dozen unfinished things to do. Thanks for all your hard work on the float. Gotta go. Bye. Oh, I've tried to be a good leader, Custard, but things haven't gone well. I assigned tasks to my friends and then followed up with them and motivated them, but somehow nothing got finished, Custard. Custard? <laughs> That's exactly right. You got distracted by something, and so did my friends. It's easy to do. I just wish they could be more helpful to each other. It seems like everybody is so stressed. And I don't know how I'm supposed to do each and everything on this list, right down to the last task. Huh? What's this, Custer? Oh, did you find something? Oh, it's the very last task. Oh, no, not another one. It says... I wrote this so fast, I put this task last. But it's rule number one, make the parade fun. <laughs> Everyone knows that. No, wait, that's what I'm doing wrong. I've assigned so many tasks that no one is having fun. Hmm, maybe I'm expecting too much of everyone. From now on, I'll just have to work harder. Baton 
twirling. Uh, yep. Uh, working on it. <laughs> Strawberry. Huh? I know it's getting late, but this is all the garland I've gotten done so far. Oh, that's fine, Orange. Don't worry. Leave this here and I'll take care of the rest. Thank you very much. Oh, and Orange, keep smiling. Uh, okay. <sighs> Look, Strawberry, I changed the parade route again. I like this one much better. <gasps> <gasps> what do you think? Oh, just one second, Blueberry. It's the new route. If I'd gotten your map sooner, Blueberry, we could have changed things. But no time now. We'll have to go with your old route. But I did this one in ink. Oh, don't be upset. I'll try and move the posts. I want you to be happy. Hey, Blueberry, check out my bunny hop. I made it way better. That's the fifth time you've made it better, Plum. Hey, Strawberry, which huh? of our wings looks prettier? <laughs> Girls, this is a parade, not a competition. It's supposed to be fun. <laughs> they both look fine. See? She likes mine best. Uh-uh. Not in a billion trillion years. Oh, oh. Look, Strawberry. I had to make more garland because Blueberry tells me the parade route is now longer. <laughs> what are we supposed to decorate with that? A shoebox? At least I'm doing something useful. Um, can somebody help me, please? Dancing is useful, not when it's too hard to do. I can't possibly learn your new double hoppity in time. It isn't my fault that Lemon took so long choosing the music. Hey, you're hopping on my map! Huh? Whoa. Would you mind keeping that thing out of my face? Yours is a monstrosity. My map is ruined! Hopping is silly! You're lucky all you have to do is garland. Oh, no! This is no fun! So, yeah! Somebody? <sighs> I gave them so much work, they've forgotten how to be nice to one another. Well... At least one of them has come back to help me. Strawberry, I'm not good with the needle and thread, and this needs some beef. I'll be back in ten minutes to pick it up. Gotta go. So behind on the music. <gasps> Galloping gooseberries! No princess. She can't be found. <laughs> Have you seen Strawberry? No, but I found her baton in the cafe. She's not in any of the shops. And we've looked everywhere. What if she quit? Why would anyone give up being the very best princess? Well, she did mention having a lot of tasks. Well, I did my task. <gasps> uh, sorta. Yeah, I kind of let her down too, I guess. She asked me to do just one little thing, and I just kept asking her to help me. And I didn't even say please. Girls, I think we all got so wrapped up in our little projects and what we needed that we didn't even pay attention to what Strawberry needed. <laughs> no wonder she took off. If I was her, I'd quit too. I was so selfish. She kept asking us to help each other, and instead we were just rude to each other. I was mean. And she only asked us to do one little thing. And I messed it up with my rhinestones. 
No, no. It was all me with my silly glitter. Trying to have the best wing. Why don't we just help each other out like she asked? <laughs> Here, please take my hanky. Thank you. We're all to blame. And after Strawberry worked so hard. <laughs> what a great leader. Never complained. Always polite. Heart of gold. And she cared so much about us having fun. And now she's left us. <laughs> I can still hear her pleading voice in my memory. <gasps> Please? Wait! That voice is real! <gasps> Look! Up there! Oh! Hey! Over here! Whoa! We've just got to save her! Come on, everyone! Grab that garland! Please! Oh, uh, I'll take this wing. you all march here to my rescue. <laughs> I wish you could have seen it. Marching and singing and <laughs> carrying garlands. It looked like a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Once we worked together and were nice to each other. Girls, I was worried for a minute we wouldn't have a parade. But you just gave me the best parade ever. We did? We did! <laughs> Let's be clear about this. Strawberry, it was you who made this parade happen. You never gave up, even when no one was helpful. And we all thank you from the very bottom of our hearts. Oh, you're making me feel like a real princess. <laughs> 